So we just here in the Blue Mountains and uh, gonna get situated by doing some abseiling. So we're right here. The Blue Mountains are actually a large plateau. So there's just a massive fall off from the top of the Blue Mountains all the way out to the bottom. So we're at a spectacular overlook and I'm super excited to be here. And uh, the first adventure is dropping straight off the edge. So Mark is setting up some repelling lines, abseiling. And uh, we're getting geared up to uh, basically go off the edge here of the Blue Mountains. So this is day one, pretty good way to get oriented. Good night. <laughs> good day. All right, quite long. Ooh, look at these ants. Look at the ant nest there. Yeah. Builds up. Oh, cool. It's like a little chimney. So this ant right here, according to Mark, made this home. That cool little chimney thing right there. That's pretty neat. Sorry, I kind of geek out about neat nature. Mark was also saying that there's a uh, eight of the world's most poisonous steaks right in this area. Also that we're never more than a uh, two or three meters away from a deadly spider. So, you know, I feel safe. Slash, I feel like everything's trying to kill me here, so <laughs> a little nervous. Even the ants look intense here. We just came from the snowy mountains. Now we're in the blue mountains. We've got a good bit of sunshine. The last bit of the storm is still actually in this part of Australia as well, so we got quite a bit of wind today. But I'm happy just not being uh, loaded up with my snow gear. So this is pretty spectacular out here. I'm loving it. All right, ready for me to go? Absolutely. away. I'm gonna have some fun. Absolutely. Enjoy. <laughs> like a big kid. <laughs> Having a good old time here in the Blue Mountains doing some abseiling, getting to play, and uh, yeah, basically just having a load of fun. Getting kind of dizzy now. Uh, I'm just gonna set up another line here so we continue our journey along the cliff edge and down into the valley. Yeah, well, set up the anchor and away we go. Woo-hoo! Uh-oh. There you go. Yeah, I got you. I got you again. You got me. <laughs> Stay out of that tree. Yeah. Thank you. Nicely done. Love it. Take it back. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I got to see how this thing works. It's beauty. Show me how it... Uh, Simple, mate. simple for a simple person like me. Alright. Just uh, get a pinch of rope, open it up, poke it through, close it off. Oh. There wow. you go. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, you're going down, you can lock it off, you can make yourself safe, you can, yeah, do whatever. That is a really cool device. When we're doing the rescue training, you just pop it through there, tie it off above the device. Yeah. You can hang around all day. Yeah. So, and as long as it's weighted, there's no way to have that come undone. It's nah, just, as it. soon as you unweight it, you can open it up. Yep. So as you know, you know when you're canyoning, yeah. when you're going down double ropes, yeah. thinner ropes, generally, yeah. you put them both through there. Up style down, I usually put the one I'm gonna pull on the inside. Yeah. Then I just unclip it, pull my rope down, swim off. Yeah, that is a great device. Continue on my way. I gotta find me one of those, those are cool. And then when you're really cold in the canyon, you actually don't take it off at all. Yeah. It never comes off, so you right. can't drop it. Yeah. I've had those ones. Yeah, you don't want that to sink <laughs> to the bottom of a deep, cold pool. Oh, wait, look at that gun. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Cool, man. Right on. Let's do it, let's continue. 
it's a cleaner abseil until you get into the trees. <laughs> you guys want mine is at least a one and a half foot. Oh, there, yeah. there's enough, but you kind of leans you to the right. <laughs> so you're kind of like kicking yeah. the trees and stuff as you're coming down. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that was a good one though. Definitely fun. Down there. Yeah. Pretty good. That was an awesome day. Yeah. It's a nice one, that mate. That was super cool. The weather held out. A little blustery, but yeah, it's so much nicer than where we were. And no one around. Yeah. That. Yeah, that's no awesome. Around. That's what I love about the mountains, mate. You yeah. Know? There's no one around to do, get in our way. Yeah. Once it starts cooling from that side, mate. Yep. Oh, is this the time when we hug? Oh, the Aussie cattle, mate. The yeah. Aussie cattle. <laughs> Maybe one more round. Get it around. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Got a slaver behind. So we look a little bit different, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got like the big chest thing going on, I've got the little bra thing going on. <laughs> you know? Well, it works, it works. It Both works. Ways. Whatever yeah, yeah. whatever works for you, you know. We're gonna be coming through the Grand Canyon on the other side here. Yeah, that's called the Grand Canyon over the there. Grand Canyon over there, beautiful sandstone slot canyon. Yeah. Millions of years old come through the temperate rainforest, down a series of waterfalls, down of the cliff face over there. Wow. We're gonna snake along the river line here. Down to the bottom here, which is called Junction Rock, where yep. we'll have hopefully be there for lunch, hopefully. <laughs> uh, for making a good time. Basically follow the river all the way along. Yeah. Across through the valley over there, down to uh, near the Blue Gum Forest. Uh, we'll camp there we'll for the night. Is that a real place, the Blue Gum Forest? Blue Gum Forest. It sounds like a made up name. Three to 500 year old massive blue gum trees. Really? Oh, you'll love oh, it. Oh, wow. It's eerie Amazing. and daunting at the time, you know. So we're gonna go up the next morning, we'll go up the um, spur line there, on the other side. I mean, we're gonna go up the cliff face, right to the top of that triangle on top of the cliff over there. Yeah? There's an old goat track that goes up. The we're going to that triangle on that mountain. It's a triangle right up there. Jeez, okay. And hopefully that'll be our lunch spot tomorrow. Amazing. So. Yeah, it's the only 360 degree view in the mountains. Uh, sensational it is. Wow. So, yeah. And then from there, we'll uh, spend the afternoon walking back to town. All right, well, this is an incredible spot. Looks like a mega adventure. It's, um, it's gotta be epic. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just scoping out where we're going to be tomorrow and the next day for a big uh, multi-day adventure and uh, going to be hiking through this canyon system and it looks insane. Super excited. Going to be going through Australia's version of the Grand Canyon. Looks pretty grand. So stoked.